In this video, we're going over the steps required to create outbound policy rules. These rules help to optimize your outgoing network traffic and balance traffic over multiple WAN connections, which is based on various algorithms. I'm logged into a BR1 Pro's web admin interface at its default IP address. On the dashboard, you can see that there are two WAN links connected. I'm going to utilize this wired and cellular WAN for load balancing over my primary office and guest networks. You can see here that I've already configured a VLAN, as well as a Wi-Fi network, which is how my guest users will connect to the network. Now we'll go to Advanced at the top and select Outbound Policy on the left. Note that this is found under the Network tab for Balanced Model Routers. Notice the default rule, which is the equivalent of distributing traffic proportionally according to each WAN connection's downstream bandwidth. HTTPS persistence rule is also included in the peplink's default configuration. It will make sure that all the secure web traffic maintains and uses the same WAN during the secure web session. This is important for applications like e-banking. The algorithm persistence is used in this rule. To create a custom rule, click this button to add a rule. In the window that opens here, we'll give the rule a unique service name to identify it. Make sure the enabled box is checked. I'm going to set this first rule for my guest network so I can either select IP network for the source or the client's associated SSID. I don't care where those devices go on the internet, so the destination will be set to any. Protocol won't be restricted either, so that also gets set to any. Next is the algorithm, of which there are eight to choose from. For example, the default algorithm is weighted balance. This allows you to set the ratio of how the peplink router should distribute outgoing traffic requests across the WAN connections. If the cellular WAN has the lowest bandwidth, you may want it to route traffic only when other links are not available. In that case, you would put less weight on the connection. Whereas if one WAN has a lower latency, you could put more weight on that. When the weight is set to zero, it means that particular WAN will only be used as a backup connection. In my case, I want the guest network to only have access over my unlimited wired WAN connection, so I'm selecting Enforce and then selecting my wired WAN. This means any device on the guest network will only be able to connect to the internet if the wired WAN is up. I'll click Save now that I'm done with this rule. Let's take another look at how the rules can be configured. If I wanted to set a rule for my primary office network, I could configure the rules similarly for the source, destination, and protocol. The difference is that I would use the algorithm priority. This allows the traffic to be routed through a healthy WAN connection that is closest to the top of the list, which can be adjusted by dragging and dropping the connections in the rule configuration. Alternatively, I can select lowest latency and choose which connections for it to look at. Here's a closer look at the descriptions of each of the algorithms.